Hi everyone, this is Sharon here. Welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we are going to see about how Facebook uses data science. This article is based on a couple of research papers as well as publications by Facebook itself. As an outsider, we can guess that the objective for Facebook would be to increase the screen time of the user, would be to maybe increase the user engagement and hence the ad revenue. As per the research article published in TechGeory, an average internet user spends over 3 hours per day on social media platform. And guess what the top spot is taken by Facebook. An average internet user spends about 2 hours and 24 minutes on Facebook. The second spot is taken by YouTube where an average user spends about 40 minutes per day. In this video, we are going to see about the critical data science projects of Facebook that helps them in better understanding the user, improve the user experience as well as target ads more accurately and hence improve the ad revenue. We are going to see about the data science project related to three different areas. Those are text analysis, facial analysis as well as the targeted ads. We are going to see the internal tools that Facebook has across these three areas and what type of use cases are being solved across these three areas. So stay tuned and let's get into the topic and see each one of them in detail. The first one is text analysis. A large portion of data that is generated on Facebook is of course the text data. Facebook uses a tool called as deep text in order to understand the meaning, the sentiment as well as the other insights about the text data as such. Deep text uses a neural network model in order to better understand the text data using the text proximity. It also uses words embedding in order to group the words or the text that has similar semantics across different languages. So no matter whatever language you, you use in order to wish someone happy birthday, Facebook would be able to group them based on their meaning and not the actual text itself. The potential use cases where a deep text could be deployed at Facebook are it could be used for moderation, it could be used to moderate the various posts as well as comment in order to identify the comments that are abusive or posts that are not in line as per the guidelines of the platform. It could also be used to identify the most relevant or the high quality comment on various posts, especially the posts that are related to celebrities or accounts that has a large number of users generally they attract a lot of user engagement and this particular model the deep text model could be used to identify the highly relevant or the high quality comments which might help them in improving the further user engagement as well on the platform it could be used to improve the understanding of a particular post let's say for example i post a picture of my family along with the text that it was a fabulous trip so Facebook would be able to see the picture as well as based on the text that I have posted would be able to identify that I have been on a family trip to a particular location on this particular day and I have visited so many different places, so many different restaurants and so and so. So it helps them to understand more about me as well as more about the post as such. It would also be used to better understand the users and their preferences based on the places and user visits, based on the comments and user is making, based on the pages that the user is liking, based on the different engagement. For example, Facebook would be able to understand whether a particular user likes an Italian restaurant or American restaurant. It would be able to, able to identify users who like to go for, to a beach on a holiday or a hill station on a holiday. It would be able to come up with various likes and dislikes that where the football team that you like, the sports that you like, the sports that you don't like, the political party that you support based on your engagement, Facebook would be able to gather all these information and they would be able to create a profile for each and every single user which will be in turn very helpful when doing the targeted advertising. The second category that we are going to see today is facial analysis. Facebook has an internal application called as DeepFace to teach itself recognize people. In some of the research papers, it's been stated that the accuracy of this particular application is over 97%, which means that this particular application is almost similar to a human being or even in some cases better than human being in recognizing the faces. Also, some research papers estimated that the FBI's facial recognition application had an accuracy of 85%. And today, Facebook's image recognition application has an accuracy of over 97%.
which is really amazing like their application is almost on par with the human being and in some cases even better than a human being in recognizing the faces given that a large number of image data are getting uploaded into facebook every single day it it makes facebook the owner of the largest image data set as of today it is also claimed that the 10 year challenge which went viral in a lot of social media platform was an internal initiative by the social media companies in order to get a huge number of image data that can be used to be input for their image recognition application and hence train and improve the accuracy of those applications it will to the number of benefits and the advantages offered by this particular application this application also equally had the share of controversies too Initially when Facebook launched a particular feature that identifies the various people on a picture without the consent of the user it went into a lot of trouble people of Illinois even went ahead and filed a lawsuit based on the Illinois Biometric Privacy Information Act because Facebook was collecting various biometric information without the consent from the user and recently in March 2021 the court has ordered Facebook to to pay a penalty of 650 million US dollars which means that every single user of Illinois would be eligible to get a payment of approximately 350 dollars from Facebook this particular application even had a lot of controversies in European Union this feature is now by default disabled because of the controversies and it needs the user's consent to be enabled The other use cases where this particular application can be used are to identify the user impersonation as well as identity theft. So these are some of the interesting use cases where this particular application is already being used or could be used in the future. The third category that we are going to see today is targeted ads. Facebook's ad revenue is over 80 billion per annum. Facebook uses data science in order to identify which type of advertisements to be shown to what type of users. If you don't believe me what you can do is you can log out of Facebook use your browser to search for a product which you haven't searched in the past and try to log in back to a Facebook and then see what happens you will be surprised to see a lot of advertisements related to the product that you have searched so how does Facebook exactly identify what type of advertisements to be shown to what type of users based on some of the research papers blogs published by Facebook itself it looks like a two step process in the step one the advertisers chooses an target audience based on the gender based on the age the geography location where the user is located and a whole lot of profile information of the target audience and then in the step two it moves on to the auction stage so here a lot of machine learning applications comes into the picture So Facebook exactly identifies which users the advertisement needs to be shown based on the total values pro. So this is the term that has been used by Facebook. So this term the so total values pro is computed based on two different parameters based on the advertiser's value as well as the ad quality. So these advertiser's value that this this attribute the advertiser's value is computed based on the bid rate submitted by the advertiser as well as the estimated action rate for the users so these are all the various attributes that are used in order to exactly identify the stores for each and every single individual and hence to whom this particular advertisement should be shown the estimated action rate that is used in this particular formula is calculated based on the profile of a particular user based on what the user likes what the user doesn't like what type of content generally the user has an engagement and what is the time frame when the user has a maximum engagement for example a particular user might be seen a lot of educational video all throughout the day but the user might have a lot of engagement during the particular time in the evening and not on the day time so 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 this particular application uses a lot of data science techniques in order to exactly identify to which users the advertisements should be shown as well as at what time it should be shown in order to ensure maximum user engagement and similarly the advertisement quality is being figured out based on the feedback provided by the user based on the feedback in general like uh, how many users are seeing a particular advertisement like how long do they watch based on the content of the advertisement like what is the text message what is the quality of the image that is being used what is the quality of the video that is being used all these factors are taken into account in order to identify the ad quality 
So Facebook exactly uses the large amount of data that they have collected about various users as well as the advertisements in order to ensure that these advertisements are being showed to the, the right targeted users to ensure the maximum engagement which helps both Facebook as well as the advertisers. So as per Facebook, what Facebook is not doing with this particular data set. So what Facebook claims is Facebook is claiming that they do not sell any user data to the advertisers. Facebook also claims that they do not share any data which has personal identifiable information of any particular user. So of course, like even though Facebook is not sharing any of our personal information, what Facebook is definitely doing is Facebook is using the lot of content that has been generated on their platform in order to develop data science application, machine learning applications that helps them in order to understand the users better, in order to improve the user engagement and hence to improve the ad revenue as such. So these are all the three different categories where Facebook has different applications based on data science and machine learning. I hope this video helped you in better understanding how data science helps Facebook in some of these different use cases. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and in the comment, let me know about the other data science use cases that could be potentially used by Facebook. That's it for now and see you in another video. Bye for now.